Hello everybody, it's Colleen here. Welcome to my channel. I just thought I would sit here and show you a quick show and tell of a couple of projects I made over the weekend, um, just for fun. I was, wasn't really um, planning to do a whole lot in terms of big, big projects, though um, there is one I'm gonna show you. This one here ended up being a decently big project, but not the project I sat down to do. It's a botched attempt at following uh, somebody else who had a three-part tutorial on a uh, six file folder envelope contraption that I spent two hours doing with her. And after that, things started to fall apart for me. I had the wrong type of folders that I thought I could get away with. Turned out I couldn't. So I ended up having to cut everything down and with, rather than do nothing at all, I just made my own thing. And I will, I will go through this with you because it ended up being a lot of fun as usual. But these ones here were just a couple of fun um, envelopes that I made into Christmas card, um, little journal card um, projects that I think ended up turning out kind of cute. So here's one. This is O Come Let Us Adore Him, and it was an image that I had from, I believe, Pinterest. So I cut it down, put it on the face or the cover of the envelope, and I just thought it looked so cute. And these these uh, tabs that are peeking out, I just think they look adorable and very Christmassy. So let's have a quick little look. So you open it up, and um, here's just a pocket stuffed with of course all kinds of all kinds of goodies these here are vintage um christmas cards that i think really lent themselves well to the vintage looking cover may the chris may this christmas be bright and merry for you i just love these images because i am very much reminded of my childhood I just think they're adorable. These are from Carrie Ann from Shabby Boutique. They're adorable. Thank you, Carrie Ann. So, and they make nice sized journal cards. And then I added this envelope. Um, you just glue it together. It was a template, Christmassy envelope. A couple of tags, a cute candy cane tag, and a little envelope that you can stick a couple things in. I need to glue it, obviously. I can see I forgot to do that, but that's okay. So yeah, they all just stuffed in very nicely behind the envelope that I glued down to the page because I love to stick things behind things. And I just think they're kind of fun to see these vintage style Christmas cards. So there you have it, season's greeting. And then I sewed in a signature of some coffee dyed paper into the middle of the two envelopes. And here is the back, the back page. I just stuck a piece of remnant from um, some of the printables. This was a clean out my bin again, remnant situation. So cute ephemera uh, mittens, Christmas mittens from G. Kerr and Again, an overstuffed envelope. This is a cute tag. This is an Artie Mays tag. Actually, I'll stick it back as I go. And we've got a little fold out. Christmassy fold out. Ephemera card. Some cute images. Some more of those old fashioned Christmas cards. Egg. This is a little booklet. I'm probably going to sew a signature into that. Just some adorable old images. I just love them. And these get stuffed in the back as well. It's fun. One of those kind of mindless little projects. I have no idea what I do. Sat down, brought some of my my tub of uh, some bits and baubles and pieces and a couple of printables cut up and there we have 
this little journal Christmas card, if you will. And here is another one. I'll take this out because this I'll show you how that goes. But this was a free printable, and I need to give Debbie Hicks credit. Thank you, Debbie. I just loved this printable. As soon as I saw it posted for free on one of the groups, I just printed it off, cut it up, and I made one of these same similar style cards as I just showed you. I just love it. I love the sewing, stitch, faux stitching. So anyways, this one isn't a Christmas theme per se. So it's more like an old-fashioned, some more old-fashioned prints, photo prints, a signature sewn in, a little pocket here with some, a couple more old images. Just very, uh, has a nice nostalgic feel to it in the back. Just love that print. And so then I made a little booklet out of another printable I had sitting beside me in my bucket of, of uh, odds and ends. Sewed in some, some paper. I just find paper. I take some coffee dyes and some whatever paper, sew them together into this little booklet. I added a couple tags. Oh, and here's a flash card from Monarch Prints. Oh. Uh, Pink Monarch Prince. I love her. She's got some great stuff. Um, and I just put a little word Fetty, beautiful day, on top of this pocket. And at the back, some more tags. So, yeah, that, that was a real fun, mindless, enjoyable exercise. And I thought, hey, it's going to fit in this belly band. So there it is. It just adds some volume and uh, so that's another I'm going to show you this really quickly how to do this is so so simple so here are two envelopes with two flaps like this so what you do is you would just sit them like this and then you take the one flap facing to the left of you open up the bottom card and you would glue around the edge of the flap Okay, and then you simply insert it into the envelope, press down the glued part like this, and then voila, there's your little pocket, card pocket. You could either, you could either um, fold it backwards so that you have another side pocket here, or you can glue it down. And I simply glued it down this way. This is the glued down the glued down part this way. So I didn't leave myself a pocket there because I wanted to use it as a signature. But you can do that and then you can build on. You can build on more more um, envelopes and make sort of a flip out. I think I have a tutorial on one of these, but anyways, that's it. So this here became this. You just decorate the, the flaps inside and outside flap. Uh, oh, and I also made these side pockets. And this was one of my, um, uh, what would you call it, a collage, uh, using up my scraps. I just glued a bunch of pieces onto a cardstock a long time ago, well, a few months back. And then I cut it up to size this particular envelope here. It makes a really nice journaling card and it's nice and sturdy because it's cardstock. And then this one here, that's another one of the collage collage pieces I made a while ago and I used some of pieces of this printable for the tabs for some continuity and this should go in there just like that so I just thought hey that's pretty fun and I also forgot to show you I stuffed in a couple of cards on this too so here is also collaged paper I made with some scraps. So if you have a bin of scraps, ladies, like I have said in the past in a few videos ago, take your scraps, glue them down. Don't think too hard about it. Just start gluing them down onto cardstock and then cut pieces out as you need, depending on what sizes you have. Like I'm reaching into a bin on my desk here and here's another piece. And I stamped using this faux piece of cardboard I tore off the the uh, covering of this and it gives you faux lines for journaling spots 
all from nothing. These are just scraps and this is a piece of cardboard from Amazon. I leave it beside me and I use it up. So just some little hints. Most of you already know these hints from others, I'm sure, but um, I try to, to make mention of them anytime I remember. And so here is a, another insert. I added more to the bottom just so that it fit better without going too far into the envelope. And I just love this, how this, uh, this uh, image peeks out the side. And then one more. The Christmas celebration, I cut it down. Off to, it's a printable I did on cardstock and I added a tab. And here we have. Sometimes you gotta, if you don't put them in looking, if you're not looking, you get stuck on the corners of these envelopes. There we go. So you leave these out, they pull out like little peeky poo tabs and there we have it. So yeah, I forgot to show you that. But I think it adds to the look. And then I just use Baker's twine here to tie it up. So that's these two. That was a fun little simple mindless project. Now this thing, this monstrous um, contraption was, like I said, from a botched experiment using, I originally had six, six of these file folders out for the project that I was following. I forget her name, sorry. <laughs> but because my file folders had these silly metal things, which I wasn't aware of, as I was making the tutorial with this lady, I was cutting off pieces as I, because I couldn't cut through. And I thought I was going to be okay, but two hours in, I came to, came to learn it wasn't going to work. So I put it all away, sat down on the couch, and I thought, I'm not, I'm not ready to give up. So I took um, one of the file folders that I had cut down, and I took a bunch of envelopes, and this is what what I have. So we're just I'm going to open it up and then I will explain a little bit of what I did. It's a large contraption. I knew that as I was adding envelopes that I was adding more work for myself but that's okay. And then I added a you can't even see it all as it opens but this here is a piece of tracing paper I glued and it became a pocket so I filled it full of more ephemera and every one of these has a journaling card so there's lots of journaling spots uh, let's see how does this fold in oh this one doesn't have a card but I need to add one but these images are so pretty I thought just it's more of like a it's a bit it's a bit of a loud project but I just I just love it I just fell in love with it so that goes in there's one here aren't those beautiful these images these are from antique papery this is a, a project full of different printables not just one shop um, but I would I'll list them all <clears throat> at the bottom when I'm done but anyways, this is the front. I know it's not done yet, but it's the front. And let's see here. This folds like that over like that. Okay, so that's that's how the front folds. And inside, I've yet one more item, which is a journaling book. And it just goes right into the middle up here. So that's the front. And then I turn it over and we have more. I know I'm a glutton for punishment. Like I said, the more envelopes I added, the more work I added, but that's okay, I had fun. Just beautiful. These are uh, took, uh, Took's craft table printables. Some of these anyway. And these are just um, <clears throat> some whale tail punches I punch uh, images that I found on Pinterest because I cannot find that punch anywhere. The whale tail has been discontinued. So I just print them and I cut them all out. But I just love the printables. I love the uh, just the prints and the images. This here has got another one in here. Actually it folds down this way. So if you 
you open it up and then I take it out this way. Isn't that beautiful? All these journaling spots. So let's see. And then these here, of course, I mean, I won't take everything out because you can kind of see for yourself. It's just full of tags. and But like I said, this is a piece of uh, tracing paper I just glued along the sides and the bottom. And I glued it against the backdrop of the inside of the folder or the back side of the folder, whichever, however you want to look at it. But um, yeah, so I don't know what you call this. I just, like I said, it's, it's on the heels of a botched project I was working on, which looks nothing like the project like it was supposed to look. This is my own little contraption. So I just thought you might enjoy a little peek through um these like i've showed you before all you need to do for this idea is since i've got you here i might as well show you take I, I mean i think this i probably had cut a couple inches off because i needed to cut this side here off and then once i did that i left it i left it open and i took flaps of envelopes like i took the flap sides and i would glue only the flap part and then I would start and I started layering. And I know I've made videos in the past, so if you want and you're interested, check back on my videos. I just start taking envelopes. Do I have some here? Yeah, what I do right here. <clears throat> you can actually, what I would probably do is glue this flap to the inside here. And then I would probably glue this here it depends what size envelopes I have in front of me I don't think about it I just grab and then I take what I have and I just start layering so and when you know you've got enough on the front that's when you can glue the sides down of the file folder and then it becomes a, a tuck for this part here which I like to put more journaling spots it's a cute a cute notebook actually so like so that's all you do you just start adding your envelopes and then you turn it over and you add more envelopes and then you start to um, decorate decorate however you want at the end once I had everything glued down then I started to cut where I wanted the tags to to come either the top or the sides of the envelopes like this here because and, and not when you when you do um think through that make sure that i did one one boo-boo here so these came out the side because i knew they would fit properly that way the tab that i'm going to use or the tag but i was going to put a tag in here i'll show you what i mean this is one sitting by my desk here so if i put a tag in this side I wasn't thinking clearly or carefully because now this one won't flip over. I could do it this way, which would work, and then it goes this way. So technically, yes, it still works. But it's just something to be aware of when you're deciding which way you want your tag to go into your envelope. There's really no right or wrong. But yeah, so, so there you have it. I hope that was fun for you. It was lots of fun for me. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to, I don't know what, we'll see. I have no idea yet. But I do enjoy file folders, so they're just a lot of fun. So there you have it. These are my little weekend projects um, that I just thought I would share with you. I hope you guys had a good weekend too and you got your crafty on. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on my next video.